What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went straight into the Pokemon Mansion, and uh, we got to figure out a few things, you know, discover the legend of Mew and Mewtwo, and we got to get the Pokemon, or the, the card key, in order to open the seventh gym, I think. That's what it was, yeah. Now, before we do anything, I did happen to capture a regular Gyarados, so I'm going to go right here to this guy, and he's going to be... Uh, trading it for for his Gyarados now the significance of his Gyarados in comparison to mine is that this Gyarados right here is an Alolan one it's both dark and poison type it's a very good combination trust me guys you will see a little bit more of it once I start playing Pokemon Sun and Moon if you guys haven't caught that a few days ago I have announced that I will be playing Pokemon Sun and Moon and uh, you guys, well, you guys would have already seen the episode where, you know, boom, I did the transaction right there. So as you can see, we got ourselves an Alolan, uh, Alolan um, Gyarados right here, both poison and dark. Looks green, yellow, and all that stuff. Now the difference with this Pokemon right here, the thing that I read when when it when it came to, you know, its Pokemon Pokédex entry, is that it is the opposite of the Cantonian uh, Gyarados, or no, the Cantonian uh, Grimer where it actually cleans up trash rather than just, you know, pollute the whole thing. So that's pretty good. Very, very good uh, Pokemon to actually have on your team. So now, it is time, guys, to go straight for our seventh badge. And, well, it's been a long time coming because I've been doing a lot of side quests here and there. And, uh, well, look at this guy. He's looking at us. He's like, yo, champion of making. This gym is, here we go, first question. The hell? Oh, damn. It's him. Wait, 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 Mr. Brain. It's not your turn yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. Everything is, uh, looks like Blaine. Uh, the old man you just saw there was the Pokemon gym leader, Blaine. He is a fire-type pro. You did very uh, well finding the secret key to get in here, so I think you're ready to take on this gym. As you might have guessed, you'll have to take a uh, take on a quiz on the gym as well as battles. Try and have a good time. Okay? So as you probably already noticed, it is a fire type gym. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out my Pokemon right here. I'm going to go straight for Leonardo. I'm going to put Dragonite on standby right here. And Smasher. This is all them right here. Well, everybody sits back and just has a good time. And, well, Blaine is looking at me all Screwy, and he's like, what'd you say? Ready to start? No need to be shy then. Step right up. Okay, so this is a new thing. Here we go. This is the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym. Or, yeah, quiz and all that stuff. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. Get one right, you get the Blaine doll. Get the question wrong, and you'll have to battle one of my students here. But if you manage to beat them, don't then don't worry. You'll still get the Blaine doll. Think you can collect all five Blaine dolls? Alrighty, here we go. First question, quiz time. Which one of these is a Spitfire Pokemon? Obviously, it is this guy right here. The challenger has given his response, and the final judgment is absolutely correct. Look at that, he's just like shaking his thing. Congratulations, you want a Blaine doll. Look at that. Alright, let's move on to the second question, quiz time. How many Pokemon gym badges are certified by the Pokemon League here? Eight, obviously eight, and yes, look at look at Blaine shaking his stuff right there. That's freaking awesome! Congratulations, here's another Blaine doll. Second one, or the third one. Third question is: Steel type move used on Fire type Pokemon will be not as effective. And look at that, he's just shaking his thing. Holy crap, Blaine is a he is something. Congratulations, you've won the Blaine doll. The challenger has assembled three Blaine dolls. Fourth question, what is it? True or false? TM28 contains the move Tombstoney. That is false. Of course, look at that. He's shaking his thing again, man. This is this freaking hilarious. All right, so that's another one down, and now we got one more. Final question. Challenger Draven, tell me who are you about to battle? Well. <laughs> Every single one of these is the same. Is it? Yeah, 
Every single one of this is it is the right right answer. So I'm just gonna go with Blaine right here. The challenger is giving his final response, and it's absolutely correct. Look at that. Ha! Oh damn! Oh damn! And just like this, Blaine just reveals himself right here. Oh wow, he's looking like Kane. Challenger, you have obtained five Blaine dolls, which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blaine, the Red Hot Gym Leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with your intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha! Oh, if you brought some burn heals. So here we go, guys. Our seventh gym battle right here against Gym Leader Blaine. And oh boy, we'll be coming out with his fire type Pokemon. And look at this. Going up against Butthead himself, Magmar. And here we go. We're going to be doing the Leonardo dance right here. So let's go with a Surf Attack right now. And there's that low kick because, of course, Magmar has to be faster than us. So let's go. Soak him up. And there goes Magmar. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. So we get more experience points. And, well, he's going to be coming out with an Arcanine. So let's go ahead and switch out to a Pokemon that can go up against this guy. Uh, let's see. Can Dragonite go? Ah, it doesn't have those moves. It just won't be affected as much. Let's go with Smasher right here. It does have some good moves to go up against this guy. So bring back Leonardo. Come on, Smasher. All right, Smasher. Let's get this. Do it. Do it. Drill run. And, of course, Arcanine just avoided that shit. And, oh, wow. Coming with everything it's got. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, do the drill run yet again. And look at that. One hit KO. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Smasher kicking butt. And he's about to come out with a Rapidash. So let's go straight back to Leonardo himself. Let's go. Alrighty. So what do we got? We can't we can make a Evolve right now, but eventually it will happen at some point. So let's go. Let's get this Rapidash. Or not Rapidash. Let's go Leonardo. Oh, wow. What the hell's going on here? Oh, he's doing the same thing. Not going to be as effective, but guess what? You, hit, you get hit by Recall. So here we go. Finishing this guy off with Surf Attack. And that is how you defeat a Unicorn. Look at that, look at that. Leonardo wins, and wow, he's about to come out with a Ninetales. Okay, so I didn't even see that. All right, let's give it to Smasher right here. Two and two, let's go. Two and two, right here on Dragon Ball Z. And Ninetales is looking like it has nine tails. But guess what, I got myself a drill run one more time. Let's go. That just destroys Ninetales. No more. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And, uh, well, there's more experience points. Sand Slash grows to level 57. Blaine has been defeated. I'm throwing out that peace sign right now. And, well, you've earned the Volcano Badge. Look at that. Look at that. Give me some fives. Bam. We got ourselves the Volcano Badge. And here, you can have this TM2. We get ourselves the TM46 Fire Blast. TM46 contains Fire Blast, a red hot fire type move. Teach it to a fire type Pokemon. Vulpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. Fire Blast is an attack that to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on a water type Pokemon. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. That's right, we're walking a little heavy right here because we got so many gym badges. And look at that. <laughs> Waved. It's trying to get my attention. So there we go. We're just getting you uh, some more attention right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Belly rub, belly rub. Look at that. Okay. You earned yourself a belly rub. Good job, Pikachu. So look at that. <sighs> Weighed down by all this freaking gold. Not gold, just all them badges. And after you defeat the gym leader, Trace is right here. He's like, ah, so it, it, this is where you were. I thought you might have been made your way to the Cinnabar Island by now. Did you beat Blaine? Really? Congratulations! 
You need to get you need to have eight badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? I got seven already, which means that the only one left is uh, yeah, must be in the gym in Vir Viridian City, right? It was closed up last time I checked, though. Have you been into Viridian City Gym yet, Draven? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by the Viridian City one more time. Okay. Okay, so he's running away right there, and well. Normally in uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red, they it, they did the addition of the whole Sevi Islands. It would have been cool to just see it right here, but you know they kind of wanted to just keep it within the story right there. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna take a small break. In the next episode, we're gonna make our way straight to the Viridian Sin Gym, uh, City Gym, and uh, yeah, hopefully get our last badge of the whole Kanto region. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys next time.